Exodus 1 and 12. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. I like to start off by saying, call halal la Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh the Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I also like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. And uh, this lesson is going to be entitled, The More They Afflict, The More They Grew. The more they afflict, the more they grew. All right. And why am I, uh, you know, in the spirit of, you know, pushing this, this, this lesson and this vibration? Because, you know, as you brothers know, um, the elder apostle to our apostle Ramlop, you know, he put out a video that they took down the elders page or not take it down. They suspended it for a temporary time. And, um, you know, it's just affliction and just just uh, vibing off the apostles uh, spirit that was upon him, which is uh, from the most high and Yahweh Shai. You know that the they the more they afflict us, the more we're gonna grow. You know Esau is never gonna stop until Yahweh Shai get back. You know so the more and more you poke at us, the more and more you uh, afflict us, the more and more this grow this this truth is gonna grow. It's already grown on a level that it was, had reached you know damn near reached the whole world. You know and um. Everyone is waking up to the fact and Esau is mad. He's mad as hell. You know, uh, another thing, too, is uh, that when this word do get shut down for us speaking it, that's the that's the prophecy of the Lord, which which the Lord spoke about a famine. All right. Dealing with, uh, you know, how he said he would make our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth, you know, and make us uh, dumb to the point where we can't speak or be a reprover, you know, to those that need healing. And that would be the Israelites, all right? In particular, the elect, because the elect is, you know, obviously would be sealed. The Lord said, when this earth, when this word go through the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. You know, he said in Revelation 7, uh, uh, hold back the destruction, the winds, the angels are holding back the winds till he sealed the mark upon the foreheads of the men, all right? And that's uh, driving me to the next scripture precept, uh, I'll quote. Uh, uh, he said, uh, for the men, he will set a mark upon the men that will sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. So there's plenty of scriptures, you know, um, that relates to this topic I could go into, you know, but I want to stick upon uh, these few scriptures here, these few verses that I have, uh, which is Exodus, the first chapter, and also 2 Corinthians. Uh, this is Exodus 1 and 1. It says, now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt, every man and his household came with Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, and Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls, for Joseph was in Egypt already. And Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased in abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them and this is another thing why Esau is afraid of is that we will outpopulate him you know the scriptures say you can't number Israel Israel like the sand of the sea or the stars up in heaven and no man can number you know so this is another reason why Esau is upset and this is why he afflicts afflict us because he don't want us to outgrow and become what exceedingly mighty and really really spiritually we're becoming exceedingly mighty as far as this truth because the word is out you know brothers are waking up everywhere you know whether they're teaching a correct doctrine but one thing that they are teaching that who are the true israelites of the bible is who are the true jews that the bible speaks of all right and that's becoming a thorn in Esau's ass. And, and, and now you see, we're, we're beginning to wax exceedingly mighty when it comes to this gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, verse 7, And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abund abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty. And the land was filled with them. So just like it was in Egypt where physically our people was outnumbering the Egyptians, all right? You know, now this word 
is outnumbering, okay, let's look at it spiritually, this word is spreading and becoming more and more uh, of a norm than Esau's uh, Jesus Christ with his, fa his false doctrine of Christianity, you know? It says the land was filled with them. So the land is being filled with the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Verse 8. Now there rose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and come to pass that when they falleth out any, any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built with Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramesses. It says, verse 12, here's the point. Uh, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. So the more and more you afflict us, the more and more this word is going to grow. The more and more you afflict this word of Yahweh Bashem Shai, the more and more it's going to grow. All right. So, um, you know, so that's it for that. Let me get uh, another quick precept. This show is going to be quick. It's going to be to the point. This is 2 Corinthians 13 and verse 9. You know what? I read into it. This is verse 6. But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Now I pray to the Most High, Yahweh that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be repro uh, though be though we be as reprobates, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. All right, so you can't do anything against this truth because it's prophecy, in which you try Esau tries and tries and strives and strives to come up with a plan come up with some type of order to disrupt the word the course of the word the flow of the word all right but there's nothing you can do against it but for it so you might as well just help us teach the truth <laughs> you know you as you already did when you gave us youtube when you gave us all the internet things every this word is out there man and and the more you cut off youtube and more restrictions the more and more you know the famine of the word is coming and that's helping the truth because the famine which is uh, feeding prophecy all right when you cut the prophets short for teaching you know and then your house shot coming you know so i had to send a spirit uh i wanted to cover that i hope this lesson was edifying i want to give all praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rechakodash I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's will for elect. Shalom.